Hey all, welcome back. This is part four. I'm Ultraviolent Four. There is fours going everywhere. Four head. Alright, so we could be going into lair right now. Um, I would like, though, before we go in, if possible, to be able to cast Ice Form. So we don't have any our poison in this game, I believe. That's correct. Uh, which means any of the poison enemies in lair are really dangerous. We might meet black mambas, we might meet spiny frogs, and that sort of thing. But if we can manage to get, where is it, ice form off, uh, not only does it give you a bunch of extra HP and cold resistance, it also gives you poison resistance. So it would be really nice to have. On top of that, um, the cold attacks can slow hydras, so it will be really useful in lair. So I think what I'm going to do is, maybe for a little bit, let's just train only transmutations, and then we'll focus ice magic. Because if we could just do D11 here and get it castable, or even if going into lair soon after going in, we could get it castable. That would make me feel much more survivable. It's gonna say it's hard with low int, but I've noticed we have 20 intelligence. That's crazy. We're getting four in off our robe and another three from our ring. Smartest Minotaur AU. All right, let's get going. Ah, uh, there's actually uh, there's a little bit of things to say about um, Wu Jian. So, it turns out that Whirlwind actually does 80% of the damage of a regular attack. Uh, this was only mentioned in the PR, as in pull request. Um, it wasn't explicitly said in any of the commits, and it was kind of hidden in the Serpent Slash one. But uh, there's been a, <laughs> a one word change if we hit. Uh, it's called the carrot. Shout out to Valentino for that one. So shift shift six. What I was calling the little hat is actually called carrot. Uh, on this page, here, for whirlwind to strike them lightly. All right. So the whirlwind does eighty percent damage, and then the lunge does one hundred and twenty percent. So when I was moving before in the little triangle thing. It's effectively two attacks for 200% damage. So the idea is that on a single enemy, it's not strictly optimal to do that whole triangle moving. You can still tap. It might still be better because, I don't know, after that first attack, the enemy will be pinned and then you can escape if you want to. But at least it's not obvious, so I'm happy about that. There's one other thing. Um, I haven't seen this yet, but let's see. Oh man, that's funky. <laughs> Alright, so that's a little... Uh, I made this and it went straight in, but there's a little symbol there that shows whirlwind. Cool. That's, uh, yeah, that's nice. So you can now tell when something's whirlwind pinned. Oh dear, that's a... Unseen horror, almost certainly. Can we fight an unseen horror? Maybe? With spider form? Okay, well the best way to fight one is to be in a hallway like this, so that you know where it is. So I'm going to be attacking forward, because it's got to be in front of us. So I hold control and press a direction, which means just attacking that way. I don't think we can, we're actually just dying. It's because we have no AC, basically. Um, the question is, can we get back to the stairs? Hmm. It's a long way, and how quickly we're dying to it uh, is not good. We might need to teleport. Let's see. No, we're definitely going to die if we try to walk that far. Alright, let's teleport. So, oh dear. He's also hitting on every attack, which is interesting. Alright, 
but we need to heal wounds now. And I was gonna say, if we land somewhere, we're on the sorry, we could land somewhere really dangerous. We're on D11, which is a bit scary to be for someone who um, hasn't gone into lay yet. And we're pretty hurt, so um, I mean, we didn't get very far from where we were, but. Uh, we didn't land next to something dangerous, so I don't know if that was good yet or not. It kind of depends on if the... What's going to call it? The Unseen Horror uh, is still chilling out up here looking for us, or if he's noticed and is now coming. So I need to take this really slowly, just in case the Unseen Horror is here somewhere. Let's step around this corner, try and hide. Oh no, it's back. Ah... Uh... I guess we need to teleport again. Fear doesn't work on them because uh, they're. I want to say that they're demons, but that doesn't seem right. Um, they're strange. <laughs> I don't know. Just take my word for it. I've I've tried. Fear does not work. Um, all right, well, let's teleport again. I guess what we could be doing here is trying to spam snakes. Uh oh. Alright. Please. Okay. I take it back. I don't want to be on D11 anymore. It's too scary. How do we get to there? Uh, let's just run. We know that there's a stair up here. We do have one magic mapping. I'm not so afraid that we need that. But we're going to run upwards towards that stair and then we're going to go to there. Because. Yeah, with no AC, uh, you just get shredded by Unseen Horrors. They're so fast that they attack you two to three times per turn, and it really hurts. The choker was really bland. Let's, let's have a look at that icon. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Oh, I thought that was an unseen horror again. I was panicking. Control A is auto pickup, by the way, if you want to turn it back on after the unseen horror. Uh, Lig. Okay. Well, that will help us in the meantime. Oh, Cyclops. Uh, I don't want anything to do with him. Um, because we're not going to have Ice Swarm castable just yet, but at least if we meet, say, a Black Mamba, um, the first time we can Lig. So this Cyclops is guarding one stair, and it means that we have to kind of go back towards the Unseen Horror to get to the other stair. I think it's probably okay, because we have uh, a Digging Wand, so we can probably cheat. Get away from the Priest. did it. Hey, sweet, more league. Alright, so we've got two fights that we can avoid being poisoned. Yeah, and we'll go back to D11 later. <laughs> Maybe if we have C invis that would help. Potion of degen. Why do we have so many different armors we're carrying? Leather armor, plain robe, plain ring mail. All that stuff we don't need. Oh yeah, also, we made it to three points of piety, that's right. So we have Serpent Slash. Alright, so gotta remember that. <laughs> Just wanted to see the symbol again. <laughs> no, I'm actually... Uh, it looks kind of funky in game. Let's see. Anyway. Alright, yep, yeah, there's a black mamba. Uh, new ring. Let's try that out. 
Bring us stealth. Yeah, we don't really need stealth. Oh, accidentally jumped off the wall. <laughs> Gotta be careful when you're moving now that um, doing that takes two turns. Because uh, if you accidentally jump off the wall, you're gonna let things hit you twice. I'm gonna start. Well, actually, let's whirlwind him first one time, so then we can make some of our own snakes. Hmm. Yeah, we need the leak. This is what I was talking about. This gives us 25 AC up from four, I think it was. Um, and gives us the R poison. And we still might even be dying to this guy. What's also pretty cool is that Lig gives you bonus damage to your unarmed attacks. But yeah, there's yeah, we can't fight a black mumbo. <laughs> Maybe I could have paralyzed it. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, once we start running out of leaks. Yeah, I was anticipating we'd get uh, petrified there, which is why I went for all the snakes. It's not that I want to just run through all our arrows again. Okay. Let's see. For Serpent Slash, is it any two moves that are free? Hmm. It says that you can move twice. Okay. So I'm guessing it doesn't just let you perform two actions in one go. Because I was thinking, you could use a wand and that would give you two attempts. Um, but I don't think that's how it works. I think you have to move. This, this new world of 80% whirlwind attacks. Sorry, I was just waiting for that plane, that was really loud. Uh, has me a bit unsure about what I should be doing. We want to be a spider against the crocodile though, just not the water macassan. Because we don't have our poison. Oh, there's our first hydra. What's... Ice form is 14%. Apparently we can cast it, so that happened pretty quickly. Um, it's still terrifying though, it's a seven headed hydra as well. Why don't we try to soften it up a bit with Ice Blast as it approaches? Okay, now I'm going to become a... This guy. Oh wait, we can't do Ice Blast again. Whoops, I should have waited one more turn. Okay, and now that it's on top of us, this might be a good time to test Serpent Slash for the first time. I like how it has a 0% failure. <laughs> it's nothing worse than failing your 2% ability and just dying. So this will let us get two attacks. Our muscles tense, ready for explosive movement. Uh, we'll get two instant attacks. They won't miss and they'll do 140% damage, I believe. And let's see. I want to read the ability again. Because it says martial attacks performed. Oh, because we might just be walking away. Okay, yeah. So I think we can't tab. I kind of don't want to test on a seven headed Hydra. I'm just going to whirlwind it. So that's one. <laughs> zoom! <laughs> what? You freeze the sediment at Hydra Zoom. Let's see. Alright. Swoosh. That's really cool. It makes sounds. Okay, so that's our two free moves. He's now pinned and slowed. So now I think we get our free lunge attack off for 120% bonus damage. And that should do it. Sweet. Alright, 
That was pretty cool. So, you've got to remember to use. Uh, what's I'm gonna call it? Serpent slash. Yes. It's it's morning. I'm having a lot of trouble just remembering names of anything. I have trouble with that at the best of times, but really not doing well this morning. And I'm gonna change my macro for basically appendage to instead be for ice form. Because if we've got ice form, we may as well just use that rather than basically appendage. Hey, and that means we can get our poison now. That's exciting. Check out how much bonus HP we get. We've got 95 HP now. If we use this, we go to 114. Good. Alright, I feel a lot safer now. Uh, let's see. Ice magic is at 4.4. Let's set a skill target for 5 ice magic. Um, and then once we're there, we'll start training our fighting and spellcasting and everything again. Quick check, what's blade hands look like? 19%. Yeah, I think it's still gonna be a while before we're casting blade hands. Onto layer two. That is Red Sky's Ghost and Hydra. Red Sky's Ghost is a troll monk of he's a slime troll. <laughs> on layer two, interesting. Can hit for up to 31 damage. I wonder if he died on the way out of Lair. It's curious. He is not resistant to cold, which is very interesting because I thought all ghosts were resistant to cold. So maybe his player character was vulnerable to cold and now his ghost is not. That's interesting. Okay. All right, well he can't follow us upstairs. So we may as well make a couple of snakes, turn into an ice beast, and we'll <laughs> He's just killing all our dudes. Uh, actually, never mind. He has a weapon of flaming. Uh, when we're in ice form, we're vulnerable to fire. So this is probably not good. Um, could he? T he couldn't two shot us. We can have a go at it. I anticipate this won't work though. Kind of is, never mind. Uh, we need to go up. Jeez. We did good damage, but then all of a sudden, not that one. Oh god, we're stuck in spider form. Makes us vulnerable to poison. Not like this. Oh, suddenly a swamp worm. Where'd you come from? Why do you hurt so much? Okay, good. Uh, I think this stair is probably too dangerous. There might be a Hydra next to it. And this was the ghost one. Um, it's probably okay. Against blink frogs. Uh, poison's really good against them because while they're blinking away, they're ticking out to it. Ice form kind of is too though because it slows them. I think I'll just go with the poison. Okay, I wanted to test. Uh, that was a question someone asked me. Um, does whirlwind pin prevent blinking? I don't know. Oh, suddenly way too many frogs. All these stairs are too dangerous. What was this one? It's a spiny frog. Okay, we can fight him. We just gotta be the ice beast. Alright. Um when you've got two enemies like that, I guess it's probably fine. Yeah, that is a good use of Whirlwind if you're cleaving enemies. 
this. Another thing to note about Whirlwind is that as long as you fight one tile away from a stair like this, you can pretty much guaranteed escape. Because even on a the way that I think it works is that even on a faster monster than you, say a much faster one like a caustic strike, you always make a gap. So um, this porcupine is faster than us, for instance. He's a he's fast. I think he's 12 speed, or maybe 11. In any case, we wouldn't ordinarily be able to run from him to ever get up a stair, but we can always whirlwind him like this, and then go up the stair. So that's pretty cool. It's a very useful ability, um, even just for that. Like, if it didn't do anything else. <gasps> I keep doing it. End transformation. <laughs> we need to be the ice one. Where are these swamp worms coming from? There must be, this must be a swamp one, as in a game with swamp in it. Um, this gives us some bonus AC as well. We go from four to seven. That's also pretty cool. We lose our buckler. It's the Hydra. Um, can't use ones. Probably can't throw things. I'm gonna walk away from the stair so, in case this goes poorly, uh, we can do the whirlwind thing and go back up. Alright, let's go serpent slash. Alright, this is this serpent slash with the new um, whirlwind pin is really strong because on a singular enemy like this. You get to hit it twice, and then it's pinned. So you effectively get three free attacks. Um, okay. Now we're dying. He is slowed though. That's okay. We'll see how long it takes for the exhaustion to wear off. It doesn't seem like it's usable multiple times against one enemy. No. Okay. Oh, well it's off now, but we need to leave. Uh, but that's cool. Uh, Serpent Slash being more spammable and uh, interacting like that to give you three attacks is uh, pretty sweet. I guess we try again. It's too scary. Yeah, I think we just probably can't fight that ghost. This isn't the first time that one of Red Sky's ghosts has proved to be extremely challenging. Oh no, there was Heartnet. I'm thinking of the ghost that had shadow creatures on Zot 1 and was an absolute nightmare. But that wasn't Red Sky. Never mind. I mean, that's it's a part of the Australian server being relatively small, is that you you learn the other players just by virtue of seeing their ghosts all the time. Give away Hydra. Because we want to start it off softening him up with the Ice Blast. Yeah, so then our three attack sequence should get him. Oh man, we just did it in one. Sick. Uh, more int. Always more int. Swoosh. <laughs> That's sick. We killed it after the first move. Um, but then we leveled up and we got the swoosh afterwards. Oh, you're back. Uh, I guess while you're here. No, 
that's not happening. Uh, ghosts can't be constricted, so the bell pythons don't even get to help out that way. Go away, red sky. I accidentally bumped into the wall. Gotta be really mindful of that. This floor's kind of laid out with everything in the middle as well. All three stairs are in a line here. So it's just impossible to get away from him. Okay, new ring. We don't need strength. We're wearing a rope. <laughs> And yeah, um, in a position like this, you can't lunge at all. What if we try wall jump? <laughs> that's pretty sick, actually. We, we killed it by jumping past. Um, that's cool. I haven't used wall jump a lot, um, but I can try to experiment with it a bit. It was pretty good there. Did we hit him there? No. Okay, so we were next to him, we jumped off, off, and we got to hit him twice. Yeah, so that's... It's a it's an upside and a downside to using your wall jump to hit twice. If your two kills are going to kill the enemy, you won't get hit back even once. But if they don't kill them, then the enemy is going to hit you twice. It's kind of interesting too. Um, oh, I... Uh, accidentally ran into the wall again and jumped back next to the ghost. Uh, but I'm I'm finding that this incarnation of Wu is actually quite interesting. There are a lot of sort of real um, I was gonna say thinking moments. That's not the best way to describe it. But there seems to be a lot. I didn't mean to do that, but maybe that's better. He's immune to poison, but um, we're now no longer vulnerable to fire. Maybe we can just beat him. No, we really can't. Yeah, it just feels like it kind of is playing out like a very cerebral type god now. I like it. Still not sure how strong it is exactly, because uh, it's going to depend on how much we're able to spam Serpent Slash, but uh, it seems pretty good. Amulet. Uh, we have one Identify, we have Remove Curse. If it's Faith, that would kind of suck, so I guess we'll ID it. Yeah, there, it is Faith. Um, I'm going to hold off on it because I'm still not sure um, how much I want to Serpent Slash stuff. Also, I think, so, mm, no, that's not right. I was just thinking about whether it's better to use the whole whirlwind lunge thing when a monster is nearly dead, but it's actually the opposite. Because your first attack against it is going to be an 80% one. So if it's nearly dead, you'd rather just do full damage attack and actually kill it. And now that the tab button isn't broken, um, I think it might be time that Wu's actually going to... Oh, I knew he was here too. He's actually going to make it into the game. Uh, this might be not the best time to test because we're kind of dying, but I'm kind of curious to see how Serpent Slash works with War Jump. Okay. Well, that was... Ooh. The plan was to pin the ghost and then we could walk away a bit. I don't know if he just caught us or he ran him energy or what happened there. Um... Okay, in this case, I don't... Hmm. We could 
go a 4% blink, but the thing is, he could kill us. He does up to 31. He actually couldn't, and we're not vulnerable to fire. Okay, let's just try a blink. Alright, that worked. I was thinking maybe using a Serpent Slash to escape. Man. <laughs> yeah, just this level. All the upstairs are together, all the downstairs are together. This ghost is going to be um, very annoying. Hey, that was a, um, a cloak. I would rather have one AC than be immune to clouds. <laughs> as sad as that sounds. Trying to think. There's no good way. If it's on a diagonal like this, it can't lunge into an enemy. And there's no other way to really harm it. So you just gotta wait. Whereas this guy is running at us diagonally, we can lunge in first for the bonus damage. Stop being on diagonals. Monsters are too crafty. I've never thought about that before, as in the direction that I'm approaching enemies from. <laughs> First time. Pow. How are we dying to this guy? Let's see. And that's... So in that case, there's just a lot to think about with how these things all interact. So I did a whirlwind there. To, to cleave on both the enemies. I killed the frog, and so it was just the... What was he, a frog? Crocodile. There was just the crocodile left, um, and I just tapped him. But strictly speaking, it would be optimal. If he is pinned, then I may as well take advantage of the lunge for the extra damage. Hmm. Okay. The reason I pinned him there is because I thought we were kind of dying, I maybe want to run away. But we slowed him now and he's nearly dead. So I'm going to lunge in and if we don't kill him, we can get away again because he's slow. Good. Book of Misfortune. Oh, Confusing Touch is actually bonkers. Uh, yeah. It's a level 1 hex spell, we can pretty much cast it already without being um, even needing to train it. But just a couple level of hexes would um, be amazing. Yeah, yeah, let's learn Confusing Touch. Okay, so I put that on Z, so I can go um, Z, Z. Let's see, I'm assuming... Okay, yeah. So you can even confusing touch with whirlwind. I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that you probably can't cleave confusing touch, although I don't know for sure. But uh, I guess we'll see. But yeah, uh, confusing touch is amazing. You can only use it when you're unarmed, but you can confuse anything with it. And in fact. I'm just thinking about the interaction between Confusing Touch and Serpent Slash. It gives you multiple attempts to confuse something. That's pretty amazing too. Alright, oh, we've been training just transmutations for a while. I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, let's turn spellcasting back on. Let's do hexes, but we'll do a skill target of... Let's match translocations. No, let's not. We'll do two. Oops equals h2. It's only a level 1 spell. Uh, we'll take it to 2 and have a look. Although more spell power on it is good because you confuse more things. So we'll do 3. Fine, convince me. And we'll turn fighting back on and focus unarmed again. So we're training a million things but that's okay. There's nothing we're in a huge hurry to get to. Even blade hands. Um, where is it? It's in here somewhere. It's 9% in yellow, so we kind of could cast it. Yeah. 
I know, I'm not in an extreme hurry because our defenses are so poor at the moment. Uh, we're still in robes, so losing our shield uh, just in order to be, it's kind of like a glass cannon spell. You do obscene amounts of damage with it, but it makes you um, less tanky. Man, today is just not my day. <laughs> okay, let's well win them all. Let's see, I think I'm I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit. Book of Unlife. What what's in here? A whole bunch of things that are probably beyond our silly Minotaur. He's not so bright. On to left four. Man, even more books. Book of Enchantments. Mm. Maybe one day we'll cast Deflect Missiles. With Minotaur in, I doubt it. And anyway, we want to be doing Statue Form, so I'm going to say we're definitely not doing it. Bam. Yeah, the lunch is really good now that I've figured out that. It just works on everything. Uh, it's diagonal. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> you gotta punch with your whole body. Here! Here! Uh oh. Mm. Okay, uh, with that. Uh, that went a lot more poorly than I was expecting. All right, let's uh, let's not risk a blink here because we could die. Um, man, how swingy! How many Komodo dragons have we fought so far? A lot, and they've never been like this. And then this one just owned us. Uh, partly my fault. We were already dying to it, and he wasn't nearly dead. And I just thought, eh, whatever, we'll win. No, we definitely won't. So. Could blink here, there's a 6% chance to fail it where we just fail it and die. But there's also a possibility that our blink lands us adjacent to the Komodo Dragon. So we get hit anyway. So what I will do instead is use our Serpent Slash. And then as our muscles tense, ready for explosive movement, we bravely zoom away. Zoom, zoom. So we've got a space now. So, yeah, now we just run, and we hope we don't meet, what would be the worst possible thing right now? Probably a fire crab. <laughs> just to put a, a fire cloud on us while we're vulnerable to fire. Alright, we're back. Uh, accidentally running into the unknown, that's not very wise. Um, would one hit from the water macassan kill us? I'm gonna say no. Uh, but one hit from the Komodo dragon might. Oh god, alright. Um, this keeps getting worse and worse. We don't have any blink scrolls. I don't want to fear while they're on top of us. Let's go another Serpent Slash. Okay. We zoomed away. Um, can we do other items? I don't know. I don't want to experiment right now. Uh, how much damage does a frog do? Up to 9, so he's not going to kill us. Um, can we just enslave the frog? 50-50, let's try. Yep, good, okay. Oh man, suddenly everyone's coming. Can we enslave the Macassan? 50-50 again. Uh, maybe we should just heal wounds. Just in case. And enslave? Enslave? No, I don't want to do it again. Uh, we'll just run. <laughs> oh man, that one. This is why you don't, you don't get cocky and crawl. 
just that one fight where we were starting to die and I was just like, yeah, we can just beat the Komodo Dragon. Rather than running away and being at much higher health there, uh, we were running away at 10 HP and then, yeah, it's just, once the situation's gone bad, can get worse. Like that one, we just beat him super easily. And also, um, I don't know why I'm not using Confusing Touch. That would have made... Oh, pin them both. Experiment. If something is pinned, can it follow you upstairs? No. Okay, that's good to know as well. Okay, but yeah, so for all these monsters like this, one-on-one, -on -one, we should be using Confusing Touch. Haste, good. I want to scatter shot uh, joins with the other one, that's pretty good. Uh, there is basically no reason for us to pick up enchant weapon scrolls. Using backslash, I'm going to turn it off in order to pick up. Because we're never going to be using a weapon. Where are they? Lunch. Lunch. You use the, the weight one turn earlier. So normally when the monster is one tile away from you, you wait for it to step to you and, and you attack it. Now when it's two tiles away, you wait for it to get one turn. Or if it's fast like that, it just goes straight past your lunch, but that's okay. Can you just tick out to the poison? Thank you. Like that, you wait, it gets in lunge range, and then you... Yeah! We missed. <laughs> oh, okay, here's another experiment. Can you confusing touch lunge? Let's find out. No, we can't find out. Okay, elephant, let's go. Can we confusing touch lunge? Yes. We did hit the elephant, but we did no damage. So that's when you've got touch up, um, your attacks do no damage. And that's until they confuse, basically. Yeah. Uh, learning my lesson. Let's not get cocky. I particularly don't want to get um, pushed off the stairs, although here's a water macassan. Um, we can probably whirlwind them both. Yeah, yeah, good. So then we can go up the stairs <laughs> free from any pursuing elephants. Alright, confusing touch lunge, let's go. Oh no, we didn't get it. It's such a good spell, actually. Um, why are we dying to you? I want to end the transformation. Do not want to be vulnerable to poison when we fight him. And we should make some snakes just in case we get petrified. Mm. We can probably fight one, especially if we have confusing touch up. Alright, so we definitely can because we confused him, but the issue here is all the other death yaks.
Oh, stubbing. <laughs> we are so far away from the Earth Magic books. I was about to say, it's not even funny, but I was actually laughing at the time, so that wouldn't be false. You got the touch. Hex is to two. What's... Um, it's hard to tell when we're in the form because we have a spellcasting penalty. Just normally, it's 4%. It's about 6% when we're in ice form. Um, I guess that is mostly when we use the spell anyway. Yucks mm. is scary. I wonder if we can afford to take one up. Don't know. I'm doing it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, never mind. We really can't. How much damage do they do? Up to 30. Okay. Well, I could do this either way. Trying to think how to do this. Oh, there we go. That. Okay, good. Either way, in terms of either whirlwinding him to go up the stairs or blinking away. And actually, now that we're up here, this was such a bad place to be because that ghost could have been waiting right there just to whack us with the flaming weapon. Not punished. Yeah, the confusing touch doesn't last too long because the death yak. Um, has a relatively high hit dice. Let's try again with the poison. Oh, we're starving. Wait, why can't we cost? Yeah, that's it's probably better as a spider. Because while he's confusedly walking around, conf um, he can be ticking out to poison. I've added Hydra. Confusing touch, you can even work on hydras, but I don't know that that's too wise. Let's try the ice boss play again. We'll become an ice form. And now that I think of it, um, it would be, so what I've been doing is I've been letting the hydra get adjacent to us, and then I've been using a serpent slash to whirlwind it twice. I'd be better off being one tile away and then serpent slashing with a lunge and then a whirlwind. That would be even more damage. Oh well. Okay. Still trying to figure this stuff out. Oh man, we exploded it. That's sick. <laughs> we've got four piety too. I think we've had it for a while. Um, does this give us anything extra? No. No. So you get... Serpent Slash at 3 Piety, and then you get Heavenly Storm at 5, I think. It used to be 6, but now it's 5. I don't know, that might not be true, even. Oh, we failed the Confusing Touch. Alright, I don't want to be fighting then. Wait, that wasn't right. Oh, he's still pinned. Oh, because I... Okay. I well ended him a second time. <laughs> but I gave him the chance to hit us again. Oh, man. Silly yucks. Why can't I fight just one of you? Oh. Actually, that's... That's legit too.
as in, I'm just thinking, we can use blink to blink away from enemies so that we can repeatedly lunge them. <laughs> Man, that's, that's some next level strat. All right. Uh, with that one, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to need to think about this one. Uh, that, that could be interesting. Blink and lunge spam. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, the next one we're going to keep doing left. We're going to try to finish it off. See you then.